David Weiss has already won a court case against Hunter Biden, the gun trial, which the president's son was convicted three felonies, a completely novel case. There had never been another criminal prosecution ever of someone just for lying about drug use on a gun form where there was just one gun, the gun was not used in a crime, there was no other crime committed with it, and where the person had no criminal record. Not one case. Yet David Weiss brought it because he felt he had it. He's also got this tax case pending, a case which could put Hunter Biden behind bars for 17 years, but it seems it's just never enough. Look, special counsel investigations are by nature politically toxic. They're partisans on both sides who are going to be screaming about the outcome because they're not really interested in justice. They're interested in punishment and only for one side, their side. David Weiss, once again, lifelong Republican, does not deserve this kind of criticism from partisans who are out for political blood. No matter how many victories he racks up in court against Hunter Biden, it seems to me that will never satisfy some. Joining us now with a different view on this, Sarah Isker, former spokesperson for the Department of Justice under President Trump, attorney, ABC News contributor, and host of the legal podcast, Advisory Opinions. Sarah, good to see you. Thanks for coming on. All right, so what am I getting wrong here? Look, as usual, all of your facts are right. I think we have a slightly different opinion, but not by much. So, yes, the Department of Justice has prosecuted plenty of fair cases, most recently, really starting in the last 10 years. Um, what's interesting, I think, here is that this is really relying on witness testimony. So the question would be, when did this witness flip? When did they get this testimony? Was it after the statute of limitations? Because you mentioned that Pharaoh usually is combined with some other charge. Well, they have the tax charges related to him getting the money. So also indicting him for Pharaoh would have been fair. The problem, again, when did the witness come forward? When did they get this evidence? But I think what you're seeing underlying this, I mean, first of all, you're totally right about the partisan motives of people across the board whenever they criticize the Department of Justice for not going after their friends, for going after their friends, whatever it may be, or their enemies. Uh, but in this case, the fair criticism was about the plea deal from last year that fell apart. If you remember, David Weiss had this plea deal, and the text of it read that, for instance, the Department of Justice could not bring Farah charges. Now, it fell apart because in court, when the judge asked the Hunter team, do you believe this means that they cannot charge you with anything like that in the future? The Hunter team said yes. And DOJ said, no, we're still investigating right. him for things like that. So they had no meeting of the minds and the plea deal fell apart. That's where that mistrust comes from. And that criticism of the plea deal, I think, is fair. Whether it's fair to criticize them for not bringing the spare charge, again, depends but what they got the But that's a technical effect. criticism of how the plea agreement was written. You would agree that these tax charges and that gun charge are absolutely the sorts of crimes that in any other case would have either not been brought or there would have been a plea with no jail time. No? Okay, so here's the problem, right? A little more nuanced again, but your show loves nuance, and I know your viewers do. Um, it is the case that you normally don't charge someone with that gun crime because it's really hard to prove that someone was using drugs. But when you write a memoir about it and provide them the evidence, and they have that evidence, it would be very unusual once you've got that indictment, once you bring those charges, not to seek jail time for a gun crime like that. But again, the fact that there has never been a charge, ever, under this set of facts to say, oh, they should have asked for jail time then as well, it just doesn't make sense. And this notion that he's doing it to cover up for Hunter Biden, that's the allegation, right? Oh, he's covering his tracks. He's doing this for, I think you'd agree with me at least on that one, that even if you disagree with decisions he's made, he's not doing it to protect Hunter Biden. Look, the plea deal was a hot mess, and we still don't know why that was written the way that it was. Again, I think textually, Hunter Biden had the better end of the argument there. But as far as David Weiss doing things to help Hunter Biden or cover up for Hunter Biden, there's no evidence of that right. at okay. all. I'm going to just say we at least we agree on that part, and so we end it there. Sarah Isker, as always, thank you. Appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your screen, and don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.